pet parents, and welcome to another edition of Momo with an Insider. I am joined by someone who has done so much in the pet world, and so many times when I say that, I'm talking about things that they've done for others, for pets, and yet this person also listens, and that doesn't happen enough in this world. I want to welcome Terry Steuben, animal communicator, author, lecturer, so many different things that you've done in the pet world. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Now, you've done a lot of things. She's an author, <laughs> two great books here, and we're going to get to talking about that. But I want to start with what's been the biggest joy for you on this journey? I think the biggest joy is when the humans realize what the pets want and they can provide it. I think that is the neatest thing because when I leave, I know, you know, I get emails all the time. This is like the best thing. You've been gone an hour and this is working, you know, and I think it's very important for people and it's so quick, it's so easy. There's a lot of things that can be done. There's a lot of things that we can be done to work with uh, with the vets. I mean, working with vets is, is, is incredible the, for me because I'm so right brain and they're so left brain. It's just very interesting. There's times I just look at them and go, really? Really? Guys, come on. Mostly men. So, and I'm like, let's just, you know, let's work together. This is what I'm getting. And then they just start looking at it and they're like, yeah, that is, okay, works well. Well, I, I think one of the other interesting things that I've gotten to learn about you and, and many of the animal communicators, folks are always skeptical, but they want that help. <laughs> How do you, because you've done a really good job. I've seen you at different expos and talking to so many different people. How have you made people feel comfortable about this? Because there's some skepticism. They don't want to, you know, do something that, oh, everybody's going to look at. Mm -hmm. When they do it, it seems to almost universally be, I am so glad. I, I just wish I had done it sooner. And they, yeah, then they're your best referral client for a while, yeah. Um, yeah, I think um, uh, it, it's something that people are shy from because most everybody isn't doing it. Well, there has to be a few folks that are first, sorry guys. But I've been doing this professionally for over 20 years. So there's some that have been f before you. So just get in there and get going because it is just so much nicer. And the change in your pet is like night and day. It's huge, it's huge. It it's, it's well worth a, you know, a 15 minute phone call or whatever just to see a difference in a pet. Well, I want to talk, because you've got two wonderful books, and this is the one that I've had for a very long time, mm -hmm. Secrets of a Pet Whisperer, but I love the tagline here, Stop Telling Your Animals to Misbehave. Mm -hmm. Explain that, because I think a lot of people are doing just that. Exactly. They, it's what the animals are uh, saying that you're talking to them backwards. And just a brief little nutshell, it's like if I said to you, when you were a kid, you went to a lake. Well, you just get a picture up here of a place you've been, right? Okay, what happens with animals, animals are telepathic, they watch this picture, but they also hear your words. So if you say to a dog, for example, don't get on the sofa, the picture part of that is the dog on the sofa, isn't it? Then they may or may not hear the don't because they're so focused here. So anything that follows don't, won't, can't, shouldn't, stop, not, or no is a picture of what you don't want them to do. So you have to do a little bit of work here and learn how to talk with them without those words. Now stop and no are two words I can't get anybody to quit using. So you have to say stop, come over here and sit with me, redirect them somewhere. Because we usually say stop and what happens is they'll stop or they'll know and they did that so then they're going to do what they want to do unless you tell them to do something else. And that's kind of what the book goes into. It goes into talking to them about medication, travel, showing them a new house, cats, dogs, doesn't matter. Works for everything. Well, I enjoyed that one. I This one is a newer one, mm -hmm. but it actually goes back a ways. This is Tales of Triumph, Katrina stories, from their voice and their point of view. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's, I mean, share that with folks. Okay, This and the book is called um, Animals Tell, it's their Tales of Triumph, Animal tell their Katrina stories. And I uh, deploy with uh, Humane Society of the United States, uh, many different groups as a matter of fact, but they asked me to come to uh, Katrina week three and week four. The book is the journal about that time. A lot of my clients were very leery of reading about it, but they were just, when they read it, they were like, it wasn't anything I thought it would be. 
and basically you follow me from morning to night, the rescue, working with the vets, my concerns about working with the vets and people I didn't know and here I am down south, right? Oh God, they're gonna think I'm nuts, right? But it worked out very well and then the next thing you know, I'm invited to go do uh, recovery, rescue. And so I was out there and, and some very interesting things happened and uh, there's also a few tips in there. My clients say, now I'm saying this to my pet instead of something else. So there's a few more tips in there as well. But it's, it's the story of the time down there and it, it's their voice it's their stories, and I don't think you can get that anywhere else. No, I love that. You know what else I love? I, I hear you saying, I was invited by this organization mm -hmm. that you all respect. Mm -hmm. I work with vets who we all respect. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, it still just boggles me why folks still sometimes will be unsure about something. And yet, when they look around the people that they trust, they're utilizing every resource, every team member, I know you and I have talked about that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where you know, you've know you got to have a complete team to win at being the best pet parent you can be. Mm -hmm. And so I, I love that. I, I want to share with the folks one last tidbit of advice from you, something that, you know, hey, here's what I hope you're thinking about, here's what I hope you're doing when it comes to animal communication. Even if they're not reaching out to an animal communicator, mm -hmm. how can they communicate better with their pet? Okay, the best thing you can do is stay away from don't, won't, <clears throat> excuse me, don't, won't, can't, shouldn't, stop, not, no. Try and speak to them and say, I, you know, instead of saying don't bark, okay, with barking I go, thank you. It acknowledges their guarding, okay, and then I tell them what to do, come over here and sit with me. But it's amazing if you just say thank you with that emphasis on the thank part, they quit. And people are like, that's it? And I'm like, yeah, it's acknowledging their guarding. But see, what happens is if you look at this from their point of view, what would you say to you? That'll change a lot of things you say to your pet. Oh, absolutely. Well, I wanna make sure people know where they can get more information about all the different things that you're involved with and doing. Let's give out your website and social media info. Well, you can, you can go to my Facebook. I have a public figure page. It's just under Terry Steuben. I also have a website, which is terrysteuben.com. And you can contact me at terry at terrysteuben.com or just head to the website. You can also look at uh, YouTube videos. Just type in my, main, my name. There's a lot of uh, videos there for people who might be sitting on the edge and maybe want to see. Uh, those videos come in very handy. A lot of people listen to those and they go, you know what? I think I'm going to try this. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for everything you're doing in the pet world. We really appreciate you stopping by. Thank you very much.